Oh man. Oh, that boy KD got traded to the Suns. Y'all know I'm a KD fan, and y'all know I would cheer for the Nets an hour ago, but now I'm a Suns fan. So stay tuned. We've been talking about this trade. Man, oh man, that boy KD is going to the Suns. So let's get to it, man. He gonna regret leaving the Warriors. The Taylor May situation, they just won two championships. He was the finals MVP. They teamed up in Brooklyn to do something special, and they've come up short. Ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. our minds that this is by far Ooh. the craziest <laughs> that we have ever seen come on, in NBA man. history. Because yes, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Durant has officially been traded Kevin. from the Brooklyn S. We're going to bring you guys all the details and what's the going sun. on. Before we get to the oh, contact, this is going to be so great. Eastern time. That man need to get healthy quick, man. Of the day, so make sure you drop a like, consider subscribing. They need to get healthy quick, man. And Booker just got back. It's the trade deadline now that we got all that out of the way. Cue the intro. Ain't going to lie, we finna skip this intro. The man doing a little promo. Let's go to what Kyrie said. In the same conference now. Yep. What's your thoughts on the other uh, Well, it's not the first time we'll be uh, compet in competition as brothers. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just praying for his happiness and praying for his well being. Uh, we had a lot of conversations throughout the year of, um, you know, what our futures were going to look like. There was still a level of uncertainty. Y'all remember, y'all remember how Luca and them, like, it's really Luca fought that KD with the Suns because the way Luca beat them in game seven, it was humiliating, man. And Deb Booker, Deb Booker should just been quiet at that time, playing with Luca. Luca not the one to mess with. Luca, Luca is light year to me. Luca is like Luca, Giannis. He's in that top five. Book ain't in that man. But look, KD is though. That man KD, that man KD on that level. So if Luca start getting crazy, then you got KD. Then Book got to match Kyrie. Man, it's out. We got to see. We got to see this in the playoffs. I'm sorry. We got to see them uh, play against each other in the playoffs. Seeing each other be places that uh, we can thrive, and whether that be together or whether that be apart, there's never been one moment where I felt like um, he's been angry at me for the decisions I've made. Oh, this gonna be good, we man. To understand each other a lot better and um, grow as human beings, grow as brothers. Um, you know, his business changes so quickly. Um, he's getting a little Ooh, bit. Ooh, that boy go to feed it. Love the competition now that we can be in the same conference, and, and I welcome all that. You know, get to see him a little bit more, probably playing against. Get Phoenix to see him more. more. Uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, get my in face between, uh, I just good to see you every day. We were we teammates. Two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? Let's get it, I man. I apologize ahead of time for the slight hidden editing quality because I had to edit this myself. So if I got this out in a timely manner, it was your boy. The Brooklyn Nets have been in absolute disarray, and I completely eviscerated them for the return that they received for Kyrie Irving. Right? Oh, you be having so, people you know, edit it for him. Ooh, that's clutch. That essentially pushed you into a corner and put you into a situation where you had to trade him within the next eight to nine days, which led to one question. After trading Kyrie Irving to the Dallas Mavericks for a package around Spencer Dinwiddie, Dorian Finney-Smith, a 2027 second round pick, 2029 first round pick that's unprotected, and a 2027 2029 second round. Well, it was like, by the way, the 2029 first that's round. That's crazy. Post Luka the one question that was surrounding the Brooklyn Nets is what's their plan now? Originally, they said that they intend. But they just said, they were like, you know what? We're not even trading KD. Don't even ask us about KD. We're not trading. We ain't going to get rid of him. That's what they, that's what I heard earlier today. They're like, we going to keep KD. Of course, I can't believe no, but the only person I believe in the NBA is Wolves. I don't believe Adam Silver. I don't believe any of the. I don't believe anybody but Wode. If Wode says it, it's true. Anyone else, I need to hear from Wode first. If it's big, I gotta wait for Wode. Yeah, good luck with doing that. It doesn't really seem feasible at this point. Primarily because this is a team that doesn't really have that many assets other than Cam Thomas. I highly doubt that you're willing to trade him. That yeah, man, Cam really Thomas, going crazy. Draft picks as a result of the James Harden trade that you made earlier on two years ago. They got a yeah, whole bunch of picks. Stuff. I will say that. Superstar player. They might be able to build like some crazy. Of years left in the tank. You don't know if that's one more year or. Three they got like years three years picks from from Philly. Best scores in the league. Three from that. Dallas the question is, and five, is four or five from Phoenix. Originally, the, theory was the worst part is, though, none of them Boston teams are going to be bad. The Boston Celtics for Jalen Brown, but there's no way, shape, or form that the Boston Celtics would do that because Jalen Brown is nine years younger 
Think happened Durant. This man hasn't even hit his prime yet. Then he decided, hey, why don't Yo, do y'all think the what's it called gonna regret that? Ship him to the Western Conference. You remember those rumors about the Phoenix Suns earlier on this year? It appears as though those rumors are no longer rumors. Because according to Adrian Wojnowski, my man hit us up in the middle of the freaking night. That man Wolves don't sleep, the Phoenix boy. Suns are nearing a blockbuster trade to acquire Brooklyn at star Kevin Durant. Sources tell ESPN. Durant wants like KD to go to the, the Suns. Suns. That's and new owner Matt Ishbia was pushing what? the deal done tonight. We forgot about this. In the summertime, the owner of the Phoenix Suns was Robert Sarver. The owner of the Phoenix Suns now is Matt Ishbia. He sees his window of opportunity. Boy, that man, this new owner. See, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's scary hours, like Ben said. So look, because this is a new owner for the Suns, right? He ended up getting Kevin Durant. That boy got Kevin Durant. And I'm going to keep it a buck. Joe, I don't think Joe Side knew what he was doing because Sean Mark should have been gone. Like, I think if they, I think if the Nets, because a lot of people were, I said the Nets made a big mistake doing it. I think if the Nets would have got Chris Paul, Kevin Durant would have stayed. Kevin Durant would have stayed and tried to work it out with everybody. And I think Chris Paul would have fit the leadership. He would have been able to run the offense and all that. And then Jake Crowder would have gave you the toughness. Chris Paul would have gave you some toughness as well. I think the Suns trade. Like they should have traded Kyrie to the Suns. I think that would have made more sense. I don't. I think Kyrie would have left to the Lakers. Still, I think all that would have made sense. The fact they sent him to Dallas, KD would not finna want. He was not gonna try to stick it out with Spencer Dinwiddie all them. At least with Chris Paul, he played with Chris Paul Team USA all like for years. So he got that respect Suns level for CP3. The owner of the Phoenix Suns now is Matt Ishbia. He sees his window of opportunity. Spencer right Dinwiddie. To potentially make this play it's like, win an NBA championship. That don't do that for open. me. We've said it multiple times on this channel. It is. The Golden State Warriors aren't as good as they should be. The Los Angeles Lakers definitely retooled and could make a series. Dog, that sucks, man. As soon as the Lakers make a move, boom. Serious <laughs> run after the trade that they made earlier, which we made. Crap, that bad. sucks. Oh my goodness. Kyrie has to go to the Lakers after this season. Kyrie, if Kyrie goes to the Lakers, the Lakers Suns is gonna be the one of the biggest little rivalries going on. Cause before it already was kind of a rivalry. Lakers Suns with Kyrie, Kyrie, LeBron, AD, and then you have Chris Paul, KD, Book. Aiden. That's gonna be man. Your mind because Come immediately on, man. you think the Phoenix Suns are making a trade for Kevin Durant. You think Aiden? Give up Chris Paul, right? 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 No. That could wrong, that Aiden wrong. would be gone. That's actually not what's happening at all whatsoever. That's what makes this even scarier. Check this out. According to Adrian Wojnarowski, the Phoenix Suns are sending Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson, Jay Crowder, four first round picks, a 2028 pick swap for Kevin Durant and TJ Warren. Source to tell they got TJ yeah, Warren that's too. Right, ladies and gentlemen, Twitter is going crazy right now because TJ Warren is returning to the Phoenix Suns. Jokes aside, this is mind meltingly bold of the Phoenix Suns. I mean, I'm never going to hate on a team for making a move like this where they see their opportunity to potentially contend for it. And it's crazy because the West is wide open this year. There's not one team in the West you're like, man, they going to just run. Like, Golden State was whooping head last year. Them and Phoenix were whooping head. And then that year before, Phoenix was whooping head. This year, the Nuggets a little bit. You got Memphis here and there. It's pretty much wide open. Steph hurt. To be honest, Phoenix Suns' window appears to be right now. Next two to three years, they have Devin Booker, they have DeAndre Ayton, they have Kevin Durant now, they have Chris Paul. I mean, yeah, depth is going to be an interesting question. Maybe yeah. Russell Westbrook off the bench? I don't really. Oh, no. And I heard that they might buy Russell Westbrook out. He better not, Phoenix better not do it. Don't, don't do it. Y'all better not get Russell Westbrook. You know, maybe John I, don't, off the bench? I don't really know. For the Phoenix Suns, out of all the calculated risks. Do not, make, please do not get Russ. Intelligent ones that you can make. I'm not going to hate on them for this one. Please it don't do it, man. Sense. Not Russ, man. Kevin Come on, man. Is the difference between the Russ isn't chip. bad. He not didn't, he's not having chip. just a terrible year, yeah, but Kevin no, Durant. man. I mean, no. Yes, I think it's silly that he went into the offseason demanding a trade, wanting to go to one of the top contenders in the Western Conference once again. But at the end of the day, we talked about this in the past. Kevin Durant just wants to hoop, bro.
Kevin Durant way outside. Delivers! Kevin Durant from downtown. They wrong for this. They wrong for this. They wrong for this. He on Twitter. They wrong for this. Snap. Now, <laughs> discuss what they wrong for the this. Brooklyn Nets. Because, man, I eviscerated the front office of the Brooklyn Nets. And rightfully so. What the hell were you doing? Originally, you had a very promising core of Spencer Dinwiddie and D'Angelo Russell and Jarrett Allen. You had Kenny Atkinson that was taking all of these players that were essentially castaways, except for Jared Allen, and turning them into something. You decided to give up on that core and bring in Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving wanted James Harden. You traded for James Harden. You gave up pretty much your... Dog, that's crazy. They did all this, and now they're pretty much back to where they were. <laughs> the Nets are pretty much back to where they were with Spencer Dinwiddie and D'Angelo Russell and all them, but now they got a whole bunch of picks. Decades worth of first round picks and pick swaps to get James Harden. After a year, you decided to give up on James Harden, trade him for Ben Simmons? And now you decided to trade- Dog, they left Ben. For, and I can't even get mad because I would have done it too. Why would have left Ben so fast? Giving you the best return. You traded him to the Dallas Mavericks. Man, Ben started for, having just six um, points. I would have been all new, can't stay here. And Dorian Finney-Smith. If we would have a 12, we would have thought about it. If I went to average six, we ain't have a shot. They had second round picks to sweeten the pot really just, I don't know, didn't really excite me very much. So now, so to go from that to finally, not only finding a trade partner for Kevin Durant, but getting one hell of a haul for Kevin Durant. I mean, this is a core of players that you could rebuild with. Mikel yep. Bridges, Jay Crowder, Cam Johnson, four first round picks, a 2028 pick swap is a remarkable, remarkable haul for a player that could either be good for one more year to maybe like three more years, or maybe hopefully more. It's just, you know, Kevin Oh yeah, they, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, they got a lot of picks, man. Know how much longer he has. Oh, to like OKC okay, got, got a crazy amount of picks. Like longevity. I hope he's good for a well, while. Well, they finna be but, on that you know, type of time. At the end of the day, I think this All is a pick. for every single side. I think this makes a lot of sense for Kevin Durant. This makes a lot of sense for the Brooklyn Nets. Kudos to the Brooklyn Nets for not holding Kevin Durant hostage at this point. Kudos to the Phoenix Suns for taking a risk. Don't get me wrong, but this risk makes a lot of sense at this point. This is not they like, have unprotected like Kevin Durant has been going crazy this year. Ain't gonna lie, Kevin Durant has been going stupid. They definitely undid the damage that the James Harden trade made. So let me know in the comments section down below. What do you guys think about this trade? I have a lot more videos to make for you guys, man. This trade deadline's absolutely bananas. Oh yeah. So, I'm gonna try to get. Watch, I'm telling you, we gonna hear, we gonna hear another. It ain't gonna be as big as it is, cause it ain't no trade gonna be as big as it is. But we gonna hear like a pretty good side trade, like the Lakers, DeAndre Russell. That was a good like. Before Kyrie Irving was the biggest trade, DeAndre Russell is a pretty big trade. We're gonna hear another one like that. I promise you. What? You everybody finna get traded. But that's it for the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, hit hit the subscribe button. Look, comment below. Do y'all think the Suns are the best team in the West now? Are they going to win the chip with KD? Y'all comment below. I'll catch y'all next one. Till then, I'm out. Peace.